Welcome into the Chile Law Review. My name is Ben Burnett. My guest today is Gabby Gravel. Gabby, how are you? Good, how are you? It is so good to see you. As always, you too. Our topic today is managing expectations. How disillusional are most people when they first reach out to you and they have questions or they need a lawyer and they don't know what to expect? I would say almost everyone calls us and it's their first time calling a lawyer. It's their first time dealing with a lawsuit or a potential lawsuit. So most people have no idea what to expect. And it's the lawyer's job to shepherd them into the fold of what active litigation looks like, what pre-litigation looks like, what a trial looks like. It's really on us to set the expectation and manage the expectation of what this means money-wise. And it's important to do that from day one at ground zero. Talk about the timelines in which these cases can drag on. Because if I just called you and asked and had not recorded so many series with you guys, I would assume, walk in here, about a week later we file a lawsuit. About two weeks later we mediate or don't mediate. Two weeks later, after there's no mediation, there's a trial date. And in four weeks, there's a verdict. Well, you're already you're already above what most people know because most people don't even know what a mediation is or how that works. But litigation is a long, drawn out, you're on the schedule of the courts, it could be years. For example, we have a, a young lady who was in a wreck in 2020, April 2020, and her court case is not being heard until February of 2024. Wow. For the very first time. And we mediated over a year ago. And she still doesn't have a date. She still doesn't have an official date, but we know what week we're starting. Yes. So it's, you know, she was severely hurt and it's caused issues with not being able to work. Whatever she's going to collect or not collect from this lawsuit, she's had to wait four years for it. That, to me, seems like an extremely long time. Talk to the average person when they contact you and you start getting into the process. How long does it take until you guys officially onboard a client? How long does it take until you reach the next step when you file a lawsuit? You can be general, but I imagine that there are certain processes that you guys go down, and I am sure it is not just days. The first time we meet a client, one of the first things we talk about is, when did this happen? We need the timeline. The timeline is so important because certain causes of action or claims develop on certain dates or certain events. So once that event happens, then that starts a timeline or a, a clock of your statute of limitations. So if you're going to file something within the statute of limitations, if we're seeing the client a week before that statute of limitations runs, we need to file immediately. We need to get it done. We need to work around the clock and make sure that's filed. If they're coming to us and they're still two years, okay, we can wait. So it depends on where you are in that, Where if you're going to file a lawsuit now or later. And if you have all the facts, you could probably whip up a complaint in a day or so if needed. It just really depends on how robust the case is. If it's a business dispute, you're going to need a lot of evidence. You're going to need a lot of research to be done and to all the facts, all the timeline. So if you have all of the details, like a police report, you've already dealt with insurance, you can get everything done a lot more quickly. So people are people. They come from all shades, all stripes, all socioeconomic backgrounds, everything. Georgia is representative of the population in this country about as well as absolutely anywhere. But do the high profile cases that you're going to have the potential to work on, does that affect how you treat an individual differently than somebody who has something minor that may not have the resources? Talk about the quality and attention that you give to absolutely everybody. Yeah, I mean, somebody's social status or race, creed, any of that, none of it comes into play when the favoritism of cases. They all get the full workup. We've got amazing resources here. We've got plenty of very well-educated and experienced attorneys, great paralegals, and tons of research engines and all kinds of legal resources at our fingertips. So everybody gets equal amounts of attention and the same amount of tenacity and attention to detail. Bob Chile, his favorite thing to say to us is, I want you to treat every case with a sense of urgency. That to me 
has been the most important thing to remember with every case because if you've got a lot of time before your next deadline, you may not be so inclined to pay, spend a lot of attention on this certain case. But there are so many things that you can continue to do in that downtime that help it, that help the case, make it stronger. Doing things with a sense of urgency it helps move the ball every day in every single case. As you look back at managing expectations, when somebody gets into a trial-like environment or, you, or they realize that is going to be a possibility or a probability in their life, how do you manage that relationship with them on an ongoing basis? Because I know it's not just some sort of transaction. Yeah, I mean, going to trial, again, it's most people's very first time dealing with a courtroom or a judge or a jury or any of it. So when trial's approaching, we always want to walk everyone through the ups and downs of actually going to trial versus settling. It's a huge gamble because you have no idea what a jury is going to decide. So even if the case is strong, there's always that possibility that your client could walk away with nothing. And it's important for them to be educated of that and understand that that's a real possibility versus you could settle now, but you may get more at trial. And a lot of them want to have their day in court. They feel like they've been wronged. They want to tell their story. So sometimes we say, we believe your case is very strong and so do they. So they want to go for it. But it's always good to be candid about the risks and what trial actually means versus a, a sure settlement now. Well, Gabby, thank you for spending time with me today. This has been another episode of the Chile Law Review. See you guys next time.